Alright, so I was thinking it was finally time to start getting into some classes. Alright, so just go into your script editor here and type in class. And as you can see, the color changed the text, which means it's a keyword. Alright, and they can put in whatever name you want. So, for this one, I'm going to put in my class. But you can put in whatever you want. Class, my class, right? Now, inside of this class, or well, actually at the end of it, type in end, because... No, end class. You gotta make sure they're connected like that. Okay? Now, put in the method here and call it initialize. And you have to spell it with American spelling. Okay, so even though I'm Australian and I spell it like this, in Ruby I have to do it like this. Well, not just Ruby, just, yeah. You have to spell it the American way. Alright? And now, you can do def dispose alright and alright and the if you're familiar with another programming language this is basically your constructor and deconstructor for classes in Ruby alright but if you're not if you don't know any other programming languages basically what happens is when you create a class and it comes into this class to uh, do anything it's going to run this whether you want it to or not the initialize method so if anything's going to happen in this class you can you we, you would be pretty damn well sure it's going to happen in here so if I wanted to go message box underscore p successful okay successful um, as soon as this class is created it's going to go successful because as soon as you create a class and goes into it, this will always run. Always. Alright? And as soon as you get rid of a class, this one will run. Okay? But that's the only two that you actually really need for a class. You don't need anything else. But just because you don't need anything else doesn't mean you can't put anything in there. Okay, so we can have our own methods. We can go def method 1. End. And in method one, we can go message box underscore p. Method one running. Okay. And this should that would work just fine, so long as we go into initialize and go method one. But yet, how about we just don't do that at all? All right, we'll go down here. And this is how you create a class. You go, uh, we can call it you want, so I'm just going to go my class equals my class dot new. Okay? And basically, what that means is we're creating a local variable here of my class and then dot new, which means create a new instance of it. I'll get into what new does at some other time, but for now, just trust me on this one. My class dot new. And what's going to happen is it's going to go to initialize. All right. Now we'll go my class dot dispose. Again, this is something I'll get into on another point. So just for now, trust me on this. Play. Successful. All right. So when you create, when you go my class equals my class not new, you're creating a new instance of this class here. This class is being created, and like I said, when it gets created, whether you want it to or not, it's going to come in here. Definitionalize. So if there's nothing in there, you won't see anything happen. But for the sake of it, make sure you have definitionalize and def dispose. You don't need to have either of these. It should work just fine without it like so oops that's because of that comment that out alright try it again yeah there you go no error okay but since it's me and I like to have initialize and dispose because they are quite useful and dispose 
I like to have them anyway, whether I'm going to use them or not. Alright. Now, method. Now we can go to my class here. The instance that we created, my class equals my class equals my class dot new. My class dot method one. And you s you've seen this before when we were doing audio. So before we were doing audio dot bgm underscore play. And by putting dot on it, we're actually accessing a method inside of the audio class. That's what the dot is doing. It's going inside of there and accessing things that are inside of it. So, my class equals my class dot new. So we are ba basically copying this into here. All right. So we can go my class dot method one, and we'll run this method, and you will see it. Method one running. Whoops. Okay, and that's just the very basics behind starting a class.